So here's what you need. I always have a supply of playing cards on hand. Uh, you can get these super cheap at the dollar store. Uh, these packs were about a buck each. Uh, what I like about uh, playing card decks is that you get you get quite a few of them. You get 54 cards plus a, plus a few others just for branding. Um, but they all have different backs. You can get a red back, um, blue back, and if you get different brands, you'll get different patterns on them. And you're also going to need a pack of uh, penny sleeves. Uh, these are actually just card sleeves, little plastic sleeves, into which you place uh, cards for your games. And actually, you're not so much interested in protecting the cards themselves. What you're actually interested in uh, is having one container to keep a stiff backing for plain paper. You slip them inside uh, this penny sleeve with a playing card back and you're set with a card prototype. So let's say you've actually gone ahead and printed out uh, your, car your cards onto a sheet of paper. This is an example of one sheet of cards that I've uh, put together for a game I'm working on. Uh, there are uh, lines along the edge that note where I'm meant to cut. How am I going to cut them out? Uh, you could just use a plain set of scissors, but that's not very efficient. Grab a, uh, an X-Acto blade. Be very careful with these. These are very, very sharp. You want them to be sharp because you're probably going to be cutting through multiple sheets of paper at once. You want to get uh, a, a stiff metal ruler, a straight edge, because you'll be uh, cutting along this edge. You don't want to get a wooden ruler or a plastic ruler because the uh, blade is so sharp it'll gouge along the edge. It doesn't even have to be a ruler, just as long as you have a, a metal straight edge, you're fine. Uh, make sure it is straight though. Grabbing my handy dandy cutting board. It's a, uh, a basically a plastic mat that I've had for way too many years and it's actually starting to really bow really badly, so I probably should get a new one. Here's an example of how I would cut a, a set of cards using a straight edge, exacto blade, on a cutting mat. Now I've taken several sheets of cards that, I, that I've designed and bound them together using uh, binder clips. I like these just because they keep, a sh they keep several sheets of paper together all at once and it makes cutting out cards a lot more efficient uh, when I can do multiple sheets at once. The key thing is making sure that all of the car card sheets are lined up properly. And when I cut I don't go to the edge of the paper. I keep it uh, right along this die cut here and along over here and make sure that uh, I don't cut to the edge of the paper because again I want the binder clips to keep everything together. When I start my cutting I also start away from the binder clips uh, so that I can keep the insides uh, cut and keep the outsides lined up. Now gradually cards are going to pop out of this uh, and that's fine uh, but it won't lose structural cohesion until the very very end. So this is how it's done. I'm cutting with shallow cuts. Honestly, I'm really only cutting through one sheet at a time. I'm doing so very, very, very gradually. I don't want to cut through all of the sheets at once because then I'll just sort of gouge everything and I'll get really rough edges. So I just want to do really shallow cuts one at a time. And there you go. You can see that uh, the paper is not cut to the edge. It's just cut inside within these die cuts. This also makes sure that I don't lose my die cuts as I start cutting out cards. As you can see in the center, I don't have any die cuts at all, and I really want to make sure that I cut everything in the center appropriate. Well, uh, I've accidentally cut this a little bit, but no matter. Uh, you can see where it's useful to have binder clips now because the sheets that are underneath have not been cut all the way to the edge. Only this top sheet has, so this is still staying in place. Again, I'm pressing very, uh, very firmly with all four fingers uh, on the steel uh, straight edge so that it presses the sheets together and makes sure, again, that they don't shift while I drag my blade across. Again, starting from within the margin, shallow cuts. There we are. See that the die cut along this top edge, bottom edge from your perspective. And again, I'm making sure that the cuts are shallow, but also intersect the previous cuts I've made that are vertical, so that once I'm done making these cuts, this stack is gonna pop out just as easily as the center one did.
go. Working our way around again. Now that I am at the far edge here, I don't need that binder clip anymore because my the weight of my fingers is going to be pressing down on this sheet of paper. Oop. It's also something to be careful of when you're using an X-Acto blade is uh, when you're inserting the blade to keep it screwed on tight so it doesn't pop out at inopportune moments like this. There we go, nice and firm. Keep your fingers well away from the edge of the straight edge as you do this. That's another reason why you want to do shallow cuts so that uh, in the rush to get a bunch of sheets cut all at once you don't end up just cutting off the tip of your thumb which has happened on occasion to a number of people. Never ever bleed on the cards. And this is a sign of a very nice cut. You have the entire outer edge of the sheet of paper pretty much solid and made cutting these out a lot easier. You could get your own paper cutter. Now, paper cutters come in all sorts of different sizes. Uh, some are much larger than this. Uh, this is a very compact model and I got it for cheap at a uh, scrap store. Uh, what you can do is use these sliders which have tiny little blades uh, that you can barely, barely see. Uh, and uh, they slide across this, this edge uh, and they dip down into this crevice so that as you're cutting your sheets of paper, the tiny blade will cut through that sheet. The only downside that, uh, that you have with a paper cutter like this is that you can't cut through as many sheets as, uh, as you do with an X-Acto blade. The thing you also have to keep, uh, keep watch of is making sure that your die cuts are in the right place, which is a little bit harder to do when you have, uh, when you have the, this uh, bit of a distance between your fingers and, uh, and the exact control of the blade. What you probably want to do is uh, lay out your cards so that they actually have a border along every edge instead of just these tiny little die cuts that you have in the corners. Personally, I think there are strengths and weaknesses of both. Uh, when my thumb is sore and my wrist is shot, the exacto blade does not seem all that appealing and I'm willing to sacrifice any accuracy and cuts uh, that I get to the convenience and, and the ease with which I can uh, use a paper cutter. Uh, but if I'm being particular and I'm being per kind of a perfectionist, I'd rather go with the accuracy uh, and the uh, honestly the efficiency of an exacto blade, especially since I can cut through many different sheets uh, all at once uh, using an exacto blade. The way that a lot of paper and a lot of cardstock works, uh, there is a grain that keeps all the sheets from shifting around too much. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, use your penny sleeves with your handy dandy uh, playing card backs. Grab your prototype card, slip it in the penny sleeve, and now you have a nice firm uh, backing for your prototypes. Uh, what the playing card also does is make sure that you can't see through your prototype cards, uh, if that's important. A lot of times if, uh, if your paper is thin or if your cardstock is thin, you'll be able to see the back. Uh, in particular, if you have a high contrast graphic like this that's just black and white, you want to make sure that you can't see through it. It's useful to have an opaque background like this, in particular if it's, uh, if it's patterned. So once you have a whole deck of cards like this, uh, you can slip in different, uh, different colored backs if you want to make a different deck or use your, uh, your uh, colored sleeves to make a different deck. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support the rest of this series on Patreon.